get pimples too, okay? And mermaids actually need really extensive skincare routines because they're literally under the water and in the sun all day. So this is a skincare routine for Ariel the Little Mermaid to actually deal with her skin conditions and her issues being in salt water pretty much 24 seven, except for that time that Ursula turned her into a human and she went to go make out with a man on the shore. Anyways, Ariel the Little Mermaid is actually one of the Disney movies that I've seen. I uh, grew up under a rock and my parents did not let me watch TV, but Ariel the Little Mermaid was one that I got to. And I have Under the Sea stuck in my head, which is very interesting because it's like playing on repeat as I am trying to form sentences and speak. But I've also got some thoughts on Ariel the Little Mermaid live action, which is coming out, I think like this, week and I actually do want to see it if anybody wants to watch it with me on like a live stream. And I've got some thoughts on Halle Bailey being the Little Mermaid. I understand this is huge controversy and listen, we're going to talk about skincare, specifically the skincare that is mermaid approved, but I know a lot of people are up in arms about the live action. Hear me out. I do have a major issue with the movie, but it's not about Halle Bailey. It's about flounder give Flounder his buckle fat back. Like what the f where did his chubby cheeks go? Listen, I understand anyone can get any treatments or procedures they want, but someone needs to tell Flounder the buckle fat removal not ideal, okay? Not ideal. <laughs> I know that so many people are up in arms about Ariel the Little Mermaid. Like, let the mermaids yeah. mermaid, okay? If anything, the live action version is a more accurate rendition of what a mermaid under the sea actually looks like. Um, so people can be up in arms about that. I'm not, not, not today. I'm in my purple Ariel shirt, not, not today. But Flounder, on the other hand, give Flounder his buckle fat back. That's all I have to say about that. What I do have to say about Ariel is that she's got some skin conditions and some skin types that we've got to look out for. Specifically, think about her living conditions. Ariel the Little Mermaid is under the sea, where life is the bubbles, but salt can cause troubles, specifically dryness. Believe it or not, yes, that lives in water, but she is dry. She has dry skin that is constantly being bombarded by the sun. And we need to make sure that when she's in the salt water, her skincare routine is actually working with her instead of against her. And it's protecting her against things like actinic keratoses, dryness, and yes, even pimples because mermaids get pimples too. So this entire routine is built to be sun safe and to care for her dry skin and her specific conditions. So let's talk about it. And also when it comes to the price points, um, Ariel's a little bougie. Her f***ing dad is King Triton and she lives in a golden under the sea palace, okay? She's got a little bit of money, so some of these products are a little bit more expensive, but if you, like Ariel, have dry skin and want to stay protected from the sun, there are a couple of budget options as well. I'll make sure that those are all linked here where you can click on them, read the ingredients, and save them for later, as well as in the description below. But first, we gotta talk about this skincare routine, starting with a cleanser. This right here is from Pacifica Beauty and this is a limited edition Ariel the Little Mermaid themed cleanser. Yeah, I did. You know we have to start it this way. This is the Sea Foam Complete Face Wash. And fun fact, this is actually a product from Pacifica that I've used for years. They rebranded it into the Ariel Little Mermaid packaging, but this is fantastic. This is great for breaking down makeup as well as for cleansing the skin. It's literally called the Sea Foam Cleanser, and this has coconut water and a sea algae complex. This is fantastic. And while not every single product in this routine is Ariel the Little Mermaid limited edition branding, you know we had to start off strong. What I love about this is that it can be used to break down makeup, dirt, sunscreen, and oil, as well as a regular cleanser. So you can use it to double cleanse or you can just use it as a cleanse on its own. This has vitamin E, but it's also got mangosteen and white tea, which provides antioxidant support. And remember, Ariel is literally in in salt water. She's in salt water and the sun and her skin can tend to be a little bit dry. This cleans the skin, but it doesn't overly damage it. It doesn't make you feel like overly dry and crusty. And again, when you are in that much sun, you need some good antioxidants and some good sun protection in this routine, which we're gonna talk about later. This is one of my favorites. And Pacifica is of course vegan, cruelty-free, and they actually donate to sustainable water initiatives. That is something I've loved about them for over 10 years. And so this also matches Ariel's morals and values. Like she has all of her fish and lobster store and bird friends like she doesn't test on animals okay and because this donates to clean water initiatives Pacifica as a brand is just helping Ariel make sure that her living space stays clean and isn't polluted love this for her now Ariel the Lord made 
Oops. Air Little Mermaid doesn't have a toner. I was thinking of giving her like a spray toner or an essence, but like under the water, it's just gonna wash off and like it'd be really hard to spray underwater. Toners and essences are also not necessary in a skincare routine. And you know, you don't need 15 steps to have a good skincare routine. So I didn't provide her a toner or an essence. Speaking of which, we gotta talk about something a little more pricey. <laughs> this vitamin C, is bomb diggity, but it's also $140. But again, Ariel Little Mermaid is rich, she can afford it, and she deserves skincare that's going to work for her skin. And let's specifically talk about that because Ariel is not fing around. The salt water and the sun exposure is no joke. And specifically for mermaids who are literally in the sun all the time, like even when she's asleep, unless she's like indoors, I'm pretty sure she's in the sun, she absolutely needs to worry about solar elastosis and actinic keratosis. And you're probably like, what the f is that? Let me explain. When people are in the sun, especially over many years, we know that they can get sunspots. We know that the collagen and elastin can break down and lead to wrinkling. And we know that the sun can cause pigmentation. But solar elastosis and actinic keratosis can specifically develop on the skin and can be really uncomfortable, can be unsightly, and yes, can be precancerous. Actinic keratoses specifically can turn into squamous cell carcinoma. And they're basically these little patches on the skin. They can happen on the face or like the hands and the chest. Uh, but they basically feel and kind of look almost like cat litter. Like they're a little bit scratchy. And Caucasians are more susceptible to them than African-Americans, but they can still happen to anyone. And it's basically caused by the sun that's hitting the skin and causing DNA damage for so many years. The skin cells are making more of themselves at an irregular pace and incorrectly. And it leads to these little growths. Now, Ariel needs to go get that checked out by a derm. They can use some cryotherapy and get it off. They can cut it off. Uh, they can laser it off. There's a bunch of things. But we definitely want to have a skincare routine that is going to help protect against that. Now, there's also solar elastosis, which can be really frustrating frustrating as well. And this is basically thickening and yellowing of the skin, usually on the face, but also definitely on the neck too. So Ariel the Little Mermaid definitely needs to take her skincare and her sunscreen on her face and also her neck, the back of her neck, her chest, etc. Basically anywhere that is not covered by her little clam bra. I hope that clam bra is UPF 50, by the way. Well, those normally develop a little bit later in life. Usually people in their 40s and 50s and 60s start to get them. But you also know that the sun can cause premature wrinkling. It can cause melasma. It can cause hyperpigmentation on the skin, and yes, even freckles and other solar spots. Now, these aren't dangerous the way that actinic keratoses are because they can turn into a form of skin cancer, but a lot of people don't like to deal with them. But for Ariel the Little Mermaid, we want to give her some options that prevent against some of those and also protect, which we're going to talk about in a second. But first, this bougie little bitch that I've been waving around. This is from Allies of Skid, and this is pricey, okay? You don't need to spend this much on a vitamin C serum, but holy sh if you got $140 laying around, woo! And I know for a fact that Ariel does, okay? Her dad, like, they got it covered. <laughs> this is absolutely a winner. This right here is the 35% vitamin C perfecting serum from Allies of Skin. And what's amazing about this is that it's an oil soluble form of vitamin C. Now for Ariel, that means two things. Number one, for everyone, it means that this can actually absorb into the skin. You see, our skin is a barrier. It is made to keep stuff out. And most vitamin C is water soluble, meaning the water soluble vitamin C has a hard time getting in. Well, our skin is made up of oil. We have sebaceous glands. Using an oil soluble vitamin C, it can actually penetrate into the skin and get into the nucleus of the cell where it needs to work on things like hyperpigmentation, fine lines and wrinkles, and more. So this is a fantastic form for her and for others, but as a bonus, because this is oil soluble, it actually works for her living under the water. If you think about it, if Ariel puts anything on her skin and doesn't seal it in with an oil, it's all gonna get washed away because she lives under the sea. Sebastian says, we got no troubles, life is the bubbles under the sea, but one of your troubles will be your skincare literally washing off your face if you don't have a way to keep it on the skin. And because this is an oil soluble vitamin C, it actually goes onto the skin and stays where it needs to for Ariel to actually work with her routine. This is fantastic. It is a 35% as well. So it is a really good one. And as you can see, this is a more oily formula. I don't love this for oily skin types. I love this for dry skin types and for people who actually want their vitamin C to work. This does have different forms of vitamin C. This does have our regular water soluble form, which is our ascorbic acid, but it's also got tetrahexadecal ascorbate, which is the oil soluble form. This is fantastic. It's got superoxide dismutase. It's got a glutathione complex. This is fantastic. But the main thing for Ariel is that this is a waterless base. So for her dry skin and for her living under the sea, this is an absolute slam dunk for her. And it's pricey. This is expensive. But for her, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
she has no problem with this, okay? Okay, if, if her dad won't get it for her, she'd get it for herself, okay? Now let's say that Ariel doesn't want to spend a ton of money. She doesn't have to. This is from The Ordinary, and this is an absolute must for Ariel. This is the Marine Hyaluronics. Do you see what I did there? Ah, you see what I did? The Marine Hyaluronics are fantastic. This is a wonderful serum for hydration and to help repair a damaged skin barrier. And again, she's swimming around in the salt all the time. Oh, she needs to repair her damaged skin barrier from the sun and from everything else she's doing. This also has an algae extract, which is extraordinarily supportive to skin and again, very hydrating. Now here's the thing about this is that this is a water soluble form of hyaluronic acid and a water soluble algae extract in this little bottle. So whenever she uses this, she needs to follow it up with some form of a skincare oil, or she needs to make sure that this is sealed in with something else on top of it. Remember that hydration is different than moisturization. Hydration is literally adding hydration or water into the skin, and then moisturizing is kind of sealing it in. So she's gonna wanna put this on first. Now with this, hyaluronic acid is honestly perfect for her. And the reason why is because hyaluronic acid binds to water. For people who live in a really dry climate, hyaluronic acid could dry them out if there's not high humidity, but Ariel literally lives in a hundred percent humidity because she lives under the water. So this is perfect for her because the hyaluronic acid has all of the moisture in her entire world to bind to. She just needs to make sure that it stays on and in her skin by sealing it in with an oil or something like that afterwards. Now, speaking of, we got some options for the baby and you know that she needs to use some biosance, especially if her skin is feeling a little bit sensitive. If she doesn't want to go in with a super high potency vitamin C, this is a fantastic option from Bio that is going to be perfect for her and her dry skin. This is the Biosance Squalling Plus Vitamin C Rose Moisturizer. And again, she wants to be a part of Eric's world. She wants to know what flowers and feet and streets are. She gotta get some rose moisturizer. This is luxury for mermaids, okay? Some, some people flowers, some people plants, hell yeah. The seaweed is always greener down there, but they don't have roses. So now she gets them. This is fantastic because it does have squalene. Skin naturally creates squalene. And Squalene is fantastic because it mimics that squalene. So this is an oil that really supports her skin with antioxidant benefits as well. Now, this also has vitamin C. The vitamin C in here, again, it works on the hyperpigmentation, works on the sunspots, works on the fine lines and wrinkles, and all of those things that she is either currently experiencing or about to experience. I mean, I guess she's only, I think she's like 16, is that right? Anyways, um, maybe she hasn't seen the full effects of the sun yet, but Ariel Little Mermaid, she is a smart cookie and she knows she needs to protect her skin. So this is absolutely mermaid approved. Also, Biosense as a brand, the name literally stands for Biology Renaissance. They care so much about what goes into their products and they really care about ocean conservation efforts. If there is a brand that cares about the ocean, it's Biosense. They even teach you how to recycle their packages on like Instagram or on their website. All of their stuff comes in glass, they promote recycling, and they actually work towards ocean conservation efforts. They are amazing. And yes, they can be a little bit pricier, but they are worth it. And so whether it's with her Marine High Hyaluronics water-based serum that she uses this to seal it in with, or whether it's her really expensive bougie ass 35% vitamin C, she can seal it in with this so that it stays happy and on her skin. Well, there is also a little something something here that you never expected me to talk about. But yes, we are going to offer Ariel the Little Mermaid a f eye cream because eye creams are overpriced moisturizers. I would honestly recommend that she just uses this by her eyes. But if there is one eye cream that is actually worth it, this one is really f good. I have used this all over my face. And I would recommend that Ariel use this all over her face. And it's a tiny little bottle to do so. But again, her dad is King Titan. She lives in an underwater castle. I don't think she's stretched for the funds. Like if she wants it, she can afford this and she can put it everywhere. Well, I actually had a burn on my chest. Um, I dropped a straightening iron and I was like, no, I don't want it to fall on the floor. So I caught it. I did a great job of catching it, but I didn't catch it with my hands. I caught it by pinning it to my chest. So I had this massive burn and can you even tell, tell, but also look at my cute little Ariel little mermaid dress. Do you love it? I love it. Um, can you even tell where I had this burn? Y you can't tell, right? This plus the solo wave literally helped me get rid of it. This is amazing. If you want to heal up a damaged skin barrier, again, you can use this under your eyes for hydration if you want to, but I'd say use this all over your face. And especially with Ariel climbing on the rocks and swimming through Ursula's underwater caves and like shipwrecks, she's bound to get scratched. Like she's an adventurer and I don't want her to stop adventuring, but like she's going to get a little scratched up here and there. This is what I would recommend that she puts on her wounds. This is the Squalene Plus Marine Algae Eye Cream, and this is phenomenal. It does have have a potent form of red algae as well as squalene as you can 
can see, like I've used the entire thing and a little bit does go a long way. But for her, especially when she gets wounds, this is what I would use. She doesn't really have under eye bags. Um, I don't think she needs an under eye cream. Again, I would recommend putting this either on her chest or all over her entire face. Honestly, if she doesn't want to use the rose moisturizer, <laughs> that I'm throwing. If she doesn't want to use the rose moisturizer that I just chucked across the room, she could use this as her full-fledged moisturizer. This is a fantastic option. Now, one other thing that I had to mention is how she could use her eye cream or even one of her serums under her eye area. Especially if she wanted to use this, I would recommend keeping it stuck on with little under eye patches. Now, if she were to use one of my favorite under eye patches from Wander Beauty or any of the other ones, she lives under the sea, the water would literally take them and like rip them off her face and she wouldn't be able to get the benefits. That that is why she needs to use these reusable silicone ones. I love these. Again, these are from Pacifica Beauty. This is their limited edition Little Mermaid case. Is that adorable? What I love about these is, number one, they're inexpensive and affordable. Number two, they're reusable and eco-friendly silicone patches. But number three, these actually have like a stickiness to the back of them. Like these, these aren't going anywhere. I love eye patches, uh, but a lot of them do kind of slide off my face. I don't know what Pacifica did with this, but these are like a vacuum seal. It literally, it says they're like a vacuum seal eye patch and these stick. These are fantastic because they do not move. They do not slide down your face. And so when Ariel is applying her serum underneath her eye patches, these are actually going to keep them where they need to be. Then on top of this, this is called mechanical pressure. It's literally a physical thing that is holding in the under eye Bag. She has under eye bags. This is gonna work way better than any eye cream. She can just use this and this will help with any of the puffiness that she might get down here from crying about Eric or crying that her dad is being a jerk, you know, um, all those mermaid problems. <laughs> Again, these are fantastic. These are actually some of the best reusable under eye patches I've ever used. Pacifica really knocked it out of the park with these. They're like a vacuum seal. And again, the Ariel the Little Mermaid tin. Ah! So cute. Now, you know that Ariel needs to protect her skin from the sun and her skin from the dryness. Let's talk about this first because um, it's wet under the sea. And a lot of people think that if they just splash their face with water and it's dry, that it'll help them. Uh, no. <laughs> water can actually dry out and dehydrate the skin if you don't have a moisturizer such as an oil to actually seal it in. And that is why she needs this. Any body oil will do. It really doesn't matter, but I love this one. This is from Osea. This is a little expensive, but again, she's bougie. She can afford it. And because she's a girl that actually wants to spend her money on skincare, this is where she should spend it because it's actually worth the money. Again, she doesn't need to. She can find a much cheaper alternative like the Ordinary's uh, Heme Squalene. That's a great option. But she wants to spend money. She just wants to make it work for her. This one does that. Osea is literally made in Malibu, California. They harvest seaweed off the ocean. Um, it's very La Mer-esque, only without the La Mer prices. And they didn't like spin this story about speaking to a dead physicist through a Ouija board, which I really appreciate. Osea is also female founded and they really care about their customers. They listen to customer feedback and they have this glass packaging that is phenomenal and their products are actually worth it. This oil literally helps to nourish her skin, help with wound healing and prevent her skin from losing its water, losing its hydration. So this protects her against the ocean water that she's constantly swimming through. This is fantastic. As you can see, I've like used the whole thing. I use it very sparingly because it is so good. And a little bit of this goes a long way, but for her especially, again, for her chest, for her face even, you could put this on your face, but especially for her scales, this is going to help to lock in the hydration. If she uses a body cream, great. If she doesn't, she can use this as a body cream on its own, but this is a fantastic choice for her. And again, regardless of which oil she gets, she needs an oil to lock in that hydration while she's swimming so she doesn't dry out. Now, you know, we gotta talk about sunscreen, but I also wanted to just share a couple of bougie skincare tool options for her. Like if there's a skincare tool that Ariel the Little Mermaid should use, it is definitely LED and not cryotherapy. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about why. Cryotherapy would be great if her dermatologist or doctor did it on any actinic keratoses that show up. However, uh, cryotherapy should not be used by Ariel. No ice rollers, no cool therapy, nothing like that. And the reason why is because sodium actually lowers the freezing point of water. Ocean water actually freezes at, I think it's like 28, 28.4, 28.5 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas regular water freezes at 32 degrees. Now, what the f does that mean? That means if she's putting like an ice roller or like a cool 
cooling device on her face, the salt water is making that temperature lower, exposing her to the danger of things like frost nip or frost bite. Like if you've ever seen people give themselves ice burns, people have literally poured salt water on themselves and then put ice on themselves to give themselves burns. I've seen it, it's not good. You don't want that. And Ariel wants to avoid that at all costs, especially for her skin type that is genetically more prone to hyperpigmentation. Those ice burns could leave lasting damage or even keloid scars if her skin is prone to it. We do not want that. So she needs to stay away from cryotherapy. That being said, if there's something she should absolutely use, it's the Dr. Dennis Gross LED face mask. She could use any LED face mask. I was honestly thinking of recommending her the little Solo Wave uh, because the Solo Wave is what I used with this to help my burn. She could use it on her face. She could use the Derma Beam. The Derma Beam is my favorite budget option. But the Dr. Dennis Gross LED, it's at the right wavelengths. It works so well and it makes her look like a cyborg mermaid. And again, it's like $500, but she's got the money for that. So I would recommend to her the LED face mask since money for her is not a problem. That one is so good from Dr. Dennis Gross and the red LED light can literally help with any inflammation that she has, can help with collagen and elastin stimulation, can help with the fine lines and wrinkles. There have been medical studies done on LED, specifically showing that red light at the correct wavelengths and the correct strengths can actually help with fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, sunspots and photo damage, etc. LED is great and she would need to use it regularly. Um, but but that is what I would recommend to her. And uh, don't forget that mermaids have pimples. She should not be using retinoic acid. And that's kind of controversial, right? Because retinoids are for everyone. But retinoic acid is potent, and especially if she is in the salt water and in the sun for literally like 24 hours a day, uh, she needs to use a retinoid that is okay and doesn't break down in the sun. If she gets retinoic acid prescribed from her doctor or derm, it's just gonna break down when she's wearing it. She absolutely needs a dappling gel. Again, I think she's also like 16, so she's a teenager, she breaks out. A dappling gel is amazing. Yes, it helps with fine lines and wrinkles, so again, helping protect against some of that damage that the sun is inevitably going to do, but at the same time, this is going to help her with her breakouts. She could spot treat it on, but I would say put it all over. And this helps to prevent breakouts. And because it's a th I was going to say that Adapalene is a fantastic third generation retinoid, but my camera microphone so rudely cut me off. So just to spite my technology, I'm going to speak for another half hour. Haha. -ha. I, I wish I were joking. I actually do hope I'm joking. As a third generation retinoid, Adapalene is light stable. This means that while Ariel is swimming through the ocean or spending time at the beach, this retinoid won't break down with sunlight the way that something like retinol or retinol will. And again, to prevent fine lines and wrinkles, in the future to help her with any current breakouts that she has. Adapalene is where it's at, baby. But you know that we can't have Adapalene or any retinoid if we're not protecting ourselves from the sun. Can you tell that I was saving this for last? Oh yeah, saving the best for last, baby. I am so excited about this because this is a very special mermaid sunscreen that is limited edition, literally made perfectly for Ariel's dry saltwater skin, and it is water resistant for 80 minutes. This right here is from Black Girl Sunscreen, and this is the limited edition version of their SPF 30. This is so a fantastic formula and <laughs> wow <laughs> look at it it's literally a magical little underwater party in a sea bottle and it has Ariel on the front and am I the type of person that just buys things for the package absolutely not but did I accidentally buy this one just because of the package <laughs> yeah I did now here's the thing about black girl sunscreen is that yes it's called black girl sunscreen but it is literally made for everyone whether you're black whether you're white whether you're yellow or a purple person or you have fish scales or anything in between black girl sunscreen is fantastic what I love about this brand is that it is completely sheer. This is a chemical sunscreen that is, again, water resistant for 80 minutes, so it works while she's swimming under the sea. And as you can see, it goes on with zero white cast. Black Girl Sunscreen was literally made by a woman named Shantae, and she was so sick of hearing that black skin doesn't need sunscreen. All skin can get skin cancer, and all skin needs sunscreen. Yes, black skin naturally has like an SPF of 13, and Caucasian skin generally has an SPF of 2 or 3, but whether it's 2 or 3 or 10 to 13, it's not enough. And Shantae decided to do something about it. So she created Black Girl Sunscreen for black girls and for everyone else who wants to find a sunscreen that doesn't flash back. And for Ariel, while she's swimming under the water, this is going to be perfect for her. Now, on top of this, do you see how this gives me like a hydrated finish? This sunscreen is so fantastic because it has jojoba oil as well as avocado oil. These oils are amazing for two reasons. Number one, nourishing to the skin, really great for dry skin, like what Ariel has. And then on top of it, 
The oils, come on, the oils and the waters, they repel each other. This literally will stay on. And because it's water resistant for 30 minutes, she can use this while she's flip flopping in the ocean. This is obviously the step of Ariel's routine that I am the most excited about. The other thing is that I thought that this was $2 more. It's actually the same price. It's limited edition branding of one of the best products. Now for Ariel's dry skin, this is great. If you do have more oily skin, they have a make it matte sunscreen as well, which for me is a much better choice. And I know Ariel has like a bunch of sisters. I'm sure one of Ariel's sisters or friends has oily skin or maybe f Eric, I don't know, maybe Scuttle. Scuttle needs himself a sunscreen. He needs to protect that bird beak. So whether you want the Make It Matte or the original SPF 30, they both come in this fantastic limited edition packaging. I am, I am, <laughs> I am floored about this. And I'm usually not someone who cares about the package or the design. Black Pearl Sunscreen in general has been one of my favorite sunscreen brands for a few years. And again, obviously <laughs> I'm not a black girl, but at the same time, I can use and appreciate and support a sunscreen that has morals and values that I believe in and literally creates a sunscreen that has no white cast for all skin tones. And as a note, you can also put this in your hairline. I'd actually highly recommend Ariel do that because if you have a hairline, you can get sunburned in there. It doesn't matter if you're brunette or blonde or a redhead or you have purple hair because why the f not? You're gonna need some sunscreen if you have a part. Sunscreen is the most important part of a skincare routine, and this is absolutely the most important part of Ariel's routine. And fun fact, I was actually washing my face this morning, and you know, I was putting on my little skincare headband to wash my face, and I realized, holy sh I have a mermaid headband. This is from Seabay Beauty. Um, Ariel absolutely needs to get one of these as well. Reusable, reusable, what the f kind of a word is reusable? Reusable is what I was trying to say. Put it in the wash, put it on your face, put the products on it, don't get it in your hair, unless it's the sunscreen, then you do get it in your hair. You know, I don't care if you get the sunscreen in your hair. What I do care about is the way that the Ariel the Little Mermaid movie is really grinding my gears. Again, I know a lot of people are up in arms about Ariel and about her hair and about other things, Dude, let the mermaids be mermaids. I'm up in arms about flounder. Give flounder his buckle fat back. I don't know who the f stole it or who told him it was gonna be a good idea to get rid of his chubby little cheeks, but they absolutely need to fix that. Like that is what's pushing all my buttons. We should start a petition for giving flounder his buckle fat back. We should also give Scuttle his voice back. What was that song? I can I can imitate Scuttle really well. What like his wah wah! Do you know that song? Okay, I haven't seen Arrow the Little Mermaid live action, obviously, but my claim to fame is sounding like um, Scuttle in the Kiss the Girl. Sha la 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 la, don't be shy. Wah, 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 wah. If he doesn't sing like that, I'm gonna be pissed. Disney, you know. But if Disney does it, It'll probably be my favorite movie, hands down. Fun fact, Ariel the Little Mermaid is one of, if not the only Disney movie I've seen. Um, never saw The Lion King, never seen Alice in Wonderland, tried to watch Dumbo, but I cried about the elephants being in cages and my mom was like, no, don't watch this, it's bad for you. So Ariel the Little Mermaid is the one Disney movie I've actually seen. I haven't even seen Bambi. Um, if anybody wants to watch the live action with me, maybe we could do it on a live stream and um, we can sing like Scuttle together. Scuttle and Elton John. Wow, 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 wow. It's my one talent. Give Flounder his buckle fat back, stay hydrated, both orally and topically, reapply that sunscreen, make sure that you get one that you love, you know which one I'm using, and always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in this next video, or if we do a live stream watching the movie together. Let me know. Love you guys, bye.